So um, I'm representing CNRS here. Actually, I'm, I think I'm good bridge because I used to be in France working. With, I'm still working with CNRS. Uh, just to present you the recent development in, in the cybersecurity community in, uh, in uh, France from the academic view and from the CNRS view. So just to present CNRS uh, in France, this is the main actor for research. Uh, so it's a national center for uh, scientific research. It uh, covers all the fields of science. Uh, and it's actually in Europe the biggest uh, research institute. And uh, one of the structure of the CNRS that uh, try to federate community, research communities called uh, the GDR, so the group research uh, regroupment. I will talk about this because uh, right now in, in uh, this year is actually the cybersecurity year in France uh, because the CNRS is putting a lot of effort to try to federate the research community. Um, and in particular, there is several research positions that are identified for this topic. Uh, there is also budget for organization of events, for training of, uh, of PhD students, and for the hiring of engineers to project related to, uh, to security. And there is a creation of, of a GDR on, uh, on cybersecurity. Uh, so I think in Canada, maybe you are more organized than we are in France because you have Syrian risk. But in France, uh, there is several communities in, in security, and all of these communities are well organized in science themselves, but not so well organized uh, to talk to other uh, security communities. So for instance, uh, France is quite good in, in cryptography and coding. Uh, so there is already one working group in, in a kind of big GDR which is related to computer science and mathematics. Uh, we have also a, a good research community on, on formal methods for security, also on, on privacy, also on hardware security and, and security of systems. But, I mean, this community don't really talk to each other. So one of the goals of CNRS for this year by saying that this is a cyber security year and, and putting a lot of effort is to try to really create what you, what you have done with CERN, which is a kind of, of GDR on, on cyber security. Um, so for instance, in, in France, we have a lot of national conferences, so one related to coding and cryptography, one related to verification methods for software security, one related to privacy, another one which is more in the black hat style, which is a stick in RAN, uh, which is related to vulnerability. Uh, we also have a French conference on, on computer security mm -hmm. and also a, an event on uh, incident response and, and digital investigation. But what was currently lacking is really a framework like you have here with Seren, which that try to make all the, these different communities talk to each other and really try to uh, launch new projects to really exchange ideas. Uh, and so uh, in Rennes, we have a, a researcher called Gilda Sawan, which is uh, mandated by CNRS this year to really create this. Uh, so it's called a pre-GDR in the sense that the goal is to see if in two years he's able to create what you have been able to create with Seren Risk. And so if, if you succeed, this will be called a full GDR. Uh, if not, then uh, I, we don't know what will be the next uh, step. But basically, from the studies that we have done, we, we have seen that in France, we have uh, in the academic size more than uh, 300 researchers related to security. Uh, and really what we want to do is to federate the research community uh, on, on this topic. Uh, and there is a strong commitment from many of these security researchers to participate to the creation of, of the, this GDR. And as you, as you may know, uh, computer security is a very vast topic, so it's not only for computer scientists, but we want also more people from social science to be able to join and to discuss with uh, computer scientists. So for this year, there is several events. So the, the goal of the GDR is to on, uh, not only reach the academic community, but also participate to the training of PhD students. Uh, and also to make uh, the public at large aware of all the cybersecurity incidents and all, all the, what, what is France is doing in terms of research and what are the risks. So we have, for instance, for this year, a first event in, in Paris in uh, December, which is targeted to the public. We also have uh, an event in October, which is uh, to create relationship between company and PhD students. So the goal is to have one week where uh, basically company talks with a PhD student related to security, not only to do networking, but also to see if there is a possibility to have some collaboration of some internship of the PhD student to work in the company directly, not only from academic, but also directly in, in, the, in, in the research lab. Uh, and in addition to this visit to Canada, uh, France also has a visit to, uh, to the States at the end of October from a French researcher. Um, okay, so. 
what I want also to do is to uh, give a few examples of what would be the tools uh, to bring collaboration between Canada and French researchers. So CNAS has actually quite a lot of collaboration tools. One is called uh, PIX, which is a kind of uh, international project from scientific cooperation. So this is targeted to, uh, if you are a researcher in Canada and you already have some work in common with people in France and you want to have a, a project for a, sh a period of three years on a specific topic, this basically is a small amount of funding for uh, mobility and buying of small equipment. So this is a really light process to, to submit this kind of project. Uh, and actually in Canada there is uh, 15 of such products running in, uh, actually. Uh, we also have other tools which are the international re research network. So basically this is labo kind of virtual laboratories that not only uh, federates two teams but can federate several teams on a, on a specific topic. And this funding is for a long, uh, longer period, so it can be for four uh, to eight years. And the goal is really to tackle a, like a privacy uh, or privacy or security challenge that you want to address. And you don't uh, need only two teams, but you really need a, a kind of effort of several laboratories on this topic. And in Canada, there is already six of such uh, uh, international research network. Uh, and then there is also other tools. So you can have an international associate laboratory, which is basically uh, more stronger commitment from two laboratory, one in France and one in Canada, to commit uh, human and material resources on a, on a program. You need to have a, so the kind of the process to have this kind of uh, funding is more a bit more long in, uh, to um, I mean to complete and to 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 prepare. But basically, you submit a research program for a long period to a steering committee. You will have a principal investigator to each laboratory, and the duration can be two, for four to eight years. Uh, and there is five of such in Canada. And the last one, which is really uh, the goal to create a common laboratory. So the, in this case, CNRS really dedicated uh, human resources and uh, personnel to create a physical structure, which can be either in France or in Canada, where you have people, uh, researchers from Canada and from France that come really together to work in the same facility. Uh, and this is called uh, international joint unit uh, at the global level. So this is more, there is only 30 of them in, uh, in the world. And in Canada, there is actually four of them actu uh, currently. So this is just to give you an example of, of the tools that you can leverage on if you want to do collaboration between uh, France and Canada. These are not the only tools. So for instance, in the room, we have people from the embassy that have also uh, some tool to foster collaboration between French and Canadian researchers. Uh, if you look also at, at the funding agency, there is often call from NSERC and, uh, and INR, which is a French national agency. So if you, if you are thinking of uh, making collaboration on cybersecurity between France and Canada, you can come to talk to me or people from the embassy. And actually, uh, I think this year is a good timing also because uh, between our government, there is a uh, declaration of intention that uh, cybersecurity that was signed in January should be one of the main topic and focus of collaboration between academia and uh, industry. So really, I think if you want to start project on cybersecurity between France and Canada, I think it's a good momentum to do it. So thank you.